Hey guys, so today I finished, I started and finished The Thorn Necklace by Francesca Leo Block and I will start off by saying that my mom actually banned me from reading Dangerous Angels. Um, I was like, um, I think I was like 15 and I remember going to the library and sadly they don't have the copy anymore, I wonder why, um, of the Dangerous Angels complete volume and it has that beautiful image of, you know, that beautiful blonde girl and she's like, she looks like a fairy, you know, I, I was enchanted, you know, and I, I just remember starting to read the book and I fell in love. I fell in love with her writing, I fell in love with her style. It was like love at first, love at first reading. <laughs> and my mom actually really did not like me reading that book and she shamed me and like I wanted to renew it because it was kind of a long book and I wasn't done reading it and she was like, I don't want you reading that book. And yeah, that was, uh, that always made me really sad. And unfortunately I had a falling out with a friend two years ago, a friend in Louisiana, and I left my copy of Dangerous Angels down there and I'll never get it again probably. So I have to buy another copy. But anyway, um, yeah, Francesca Lea Block is one of the best writers uh, ever in my opinion. And my opinion is right because, yeah, I'm just being cocky like that. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, yeah, well, uh, I just started kind of like at, at a loss what to say about the book. Um, it's, uh, I found it really, I, I think she did an amazing job, like, you know, she seamless, seamlessly put together the memoir and kind of like an instructional on how to write which I don't know I if I could ever do that that's like so difficult right but she did like an amazing job doing it and you know I think it was so brave of her to talk about all her her demons and like just all the the dark parts of her shadow self you know because those are the parts that we nobody likes to talk about right and I just feel very grateful that she led us into her world, into her past, and I think that takes so much courage, you know, and it takes so much so much guts because like you know, let's be honest, but not not a lot of people do that, you know. And you know, I guess it's human nature to like, you know, kinda like draw from, from your personal experiences, but like when I was reading her, you know, th this memoir, when whenever she spoke about how like, you know, people would call her ugly and like, you know, men would say, oh, you good thing you're not that pretty. Like, I swear to God, like I, I, I've had the same stuff happen to me, you know, I, I feel like with men, I'm never good enough. I'm never pretty enough. And like, they just settle for me and like, that is just so horrible to deal with, you know? And I like, I don't know, it like infuriates me. When I, when I was reading that, I was like, you know, she's she's a beautiful woman, you know? Like on the, on the inside and outside and like, just, these men are like, I mean, of course I'm, I'm bisexual, so I, I am attracted to men, but like I've, I've noticed, I'm, you know, I'm 29 years old, <laughs> I've dated both, I've noticed the way that men will just compare you to other women, and they don't even think about it, it just comes naturally to them. So, yeah, you know, it really, it really messes you up, being compared to, to others, you know, this fixation on, on like out, outward beauty is really dangerous, it's really toxic. And I thought it was really brave of her to speak up about her anorexia too, you know, like I had no idea she had uh, a past with that. And, you know, it was really hard to read, you know, such a, such a
such a beautiful, amazing woman, you know, she had to suffer through all that. And like, ugh, I don't know, it's just, it's, you know, I know men suffer too, of course, but like when you put, you know, when you look at all the st statistics, it's so glaringly apparent that women, you know, suffer way more than men over this whole body image, you know? And something else I really love about the book too is just, is that she includes in each chapter she she has uh, like the, the 12 questions. So I really like that. So like in chapter one, it's, you know, gifts and flaws. Chapter two, wants and needs. Three is arc. Four is antagonist, five is setting, six is style, seven is theme, eight is crisis, nine is climax, and ten is resolution. So that's all talking about, you know, your story development, like how to write a good story, a good novel. And, you know, as a writer myself, I like, you know, I, unfortunately, I, I'm, I'm, I'm poor right now. I don't have a job, so I had to take this off from the library. But I swear to God, my first paycheck, I'm gonna be start. I'm gonna start working soon. I'm gonna, pay, I'm gonna buy this book. And I'm gonna like highlight all the parts that I love, you know, and including all the writing advice she gives because it's like really amazing writing advice, you know. And I just, you know, I guess this book means so much to me because as a writer myself, like for years, I like, I was in denial that I'm a writer. I know it sounds stupid, but like. For like the past few years, I I kind of gave up on my I guess my my goal or my I guess you could say my dream, my aspiration of being a writer. You know, like a, a writer that brings in not so much money, I guess, but because I know we need money in this world, right, to survive. But like to like be published, you know, to be, to help people. That's all I want is my, my words to help others, to help them heal in the same way she does, you know? And I, for the longest time, I felt like, you know, oh, being a writer is stupid and there's no money in this. And how can I be a writer? Like, it's just stupid, right? Like, no, I'm not a writer. I can't be. So I tried being, or I tried forcing myself to be things that I'm not. So like, you know, a businesswoman, I, I even thought about being a lawyer, like so many things that, that are not me, you know? And reading this book has just solidified to me that I am a writer, whether I like it or not. You know, I was, I was born with this, this gift that thankfully over the past 10, 10 plus years, I've been working on it and it's just, you know, it's a gift and you need to hone in on it and you have to just keep practicing and practicing and it gets better like with anything. So I love that she's so encouraging and she's so positive and, you know, because I feel like I don't see that anywhere in our society where like, you know, society loves writers, right? And artists of any type and painters, they love musicians but they sure as hell don't really create a good support system for us, you know? They're like, oh, you're a writer? Like, like good luck with that, you know? You, you're gonna be poor, you know? How are you gonna make money? You see? But like, it doesn't have to be that way. It's like, it's really sad. It's like, why do, why do just a select few number of people get to be writers as their job, you know? Or a painter or you know what I mean? It's like, I don't know. But, uh, I just really, I really, really adore this book. I think it was, it's wonderful. And I'm sorry if my video reviews a little all over the place. I, I guess I feel overwhelmed with, you know, what I just read. I, I thought, you know, even her mem the memoir itself reads like a story. It's so like poetic and lyrical and just, you know, I live in New York. So ever since I read, you know, been reading, I read her first story. I was like, I need to go out there. I need to go out West because I don't belong here in New York. I mean, you know, like 
New York City has its own charm and allure, but I really think that I'm a West Coast girl, definitely. So, oh, so yeah, thank you so much, Francesca Leah Block, for writing such an amazing, poignant, just beautiful novel. Um, yeah, thank you so much for, you know, exposing your shadow self and your fears and your dreams, your desires that takes guts. So I, I definitely give the book five out of five stars. You know, it's, it's amazing. It's perfect. I'm probably going to end up reading it again because I love it that much. So thank you again. And you should definitely check it out. You can go buy it or take it out from the library. All right, guys.